This is Aldo Galli. He was born and raised in Italy, near Milan. He came to Britain 20 years ago, settled in Southampton and found work in this supermarket. Aldo has a degree in agricultural sciences and a passion for painting. And it's probably fair to say these shelves are not where his heart truly lies. Well, it's the beauty of a landscape and the peace that you can find over here. Just look around you, the surrounding is just amazing. It's just like having an old friend that you can always rely upon. This is the real Watership Down. As a child in Milan, Aldo had loved Richard Adams' story. And I never thought that Watership Down was a real place until I came to live in the UK and I found out. So I discovered the Watership Down world. And it just happened that at that time in my life I was doing my painting courses with this oil painting technique. And I just could see the whole world in front of me. I just thought this is perfect. Oh look, this is a funny thing I can show you. This plant is the hedge woundwort. Woundwort? That's where the name of the famous general of the story is coming from. So I took care to put it in my picture behind it just to celebrate the big man. Well, or should we say the big rabbit? So which way did the rabbits come from? Uh, they come all the way up from the corner basically of the field. And Aldo took photographs and used them to begin painting scenes from the book. If you look at the pictures in the book, you will see that there is always, most of the time, there is very little sky at the top and a lot of foreground. That's why, that's because I lie down on the, on the ground and to my photographs from that point of view, that a rabbit point of view, that's how a rabbit would see the world. He sent a couple of his paintings to Richard Adams himself, and the author encouraged Aldo to produce more pictures for a new illustrated edition of Watership Down. How fierce a critic was he? How, how much did he want from you? Oh, he was tough. He would just, we would just read the book together, basically, and checking every single passage and every word to make sure it matched the picture. So he was pretty happy with the job I was doing. Like the rabbits in the story, Aldo travelled many miles to find the real locations for the various adventures. One of his favourites was this private spot in Laverstuck Park. Well, I like the waterfall, I like the sound of the water, I like the colour. The picture I did is all about the different shade of greens that you can find in this spot, from the, from the grass, from the weeds, from the trees, and from the reflection that you can see in the water. Remind us where this fits into the story. Yes, this is where the rabbits cross the bridge, basically, and they find the little punt that we will use for their escape. So I made sure to put in the picture all the plants that Richard Adam describes in the book and that grow along the river banks, because I wanted people to, sh to see them. The edition with all those pictures was finally published four years ago, first in America, then in Britain and all over the world. But when you look back on this whole experience of, of creating the book and creating the pictures, what, what are the thoughts that, 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 that stay with you? That's been the most amazing experience I probably have done in my life. So for me to be able to represent it on, on canvas and on my paintings, it was just something absolutely extraordinary. Mm -hmm.